When trying to steer people in a particular direction, leaders have two opposite styles at their disposal, the supervisory leadership style and the facilitative leadership style. Let's see how these styles play out in the case of Belinda and Ralph. Belinda is Director of IT, while Ralph is Director of Marketing. Ralph has just started building an app for the sales department, unfortunately without telling Belinda, but now he needs to integrate his app with IT's back office infrastructure. I appreciate your initiative, Ralph, but getting your app to work with our other systems, that is going to be challenging. I didn't think it would be that complicated. I thought we could work on it as a group and then we wouldn't have to involve your department. Actually, this kind of IT integration is really tricky, believe me. I think it's best if I get more involved. Just to make sure your project's a success and finished on time, I want to speak to your app developers, give them some guidelines. Is that okay? That makes sense to me. I think we could appreciate the help. Good. Do you see how Belinda successfully took direct control to steer the necessary activities? But you can easily overdo a good thing. I appreciate your initiative, Ralph, but getting your app to work with our other systems, that's going to be challenging. Is it really so complicated? I thought we could take care of the work and then we wouldn't have to bother your department. Actually, this kind of IT integration is rather tricky. I think it's best if I take over from here. To make sure this project's a success and on time, I'm going to rewrite your development plan and make sure your team report directly to me. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. Good. Taking direct control can easily degenerate into disempowering micromanagement. But note that there is an opposite approach to this supervisory leadership style. I appreciate your initiative, Ralph, but getting your app to work with our other systems is going to be quite challenging. I didn't think it would be that complicated. I thought we could take care of most of the work and then we wouldn't have to involve your department. Actually, this kind of IT integration is really tricky. How about I lend you Karen? She's our app specialist. And perhaps some of your team can come over and join our IT integration workshop we're running right now. How does that sound? Actually, that makes sense. I see where we could use the support. Great. Now Belinda isn't taking direct control, but is trying to nudge Ralph in the right direction by creating supportive conditions. Yet this facilitative leadership style can also be overdone. I appreciate your initiative, Ralph, but getting your app to work with our other systems, that's going to be challenging. Is it really so complicated? I thought we could take care of the work and then we wouldn't have to bother your department. Actually, this kind of IT integration is really tricky, believe me. But give it your best shot, and if we can support you, let us know. Okay, I guess so. Belinda might feel she's being facilitating, but Ralph feels he's just been abandoned. Do you use both of these leadership styles effectively, switching between them when necessary? And do you stay out of the looming pitfalls? That would make you an agile leader. If you want to read up on these two styles and would like to look at nine more pairs of styles, then go to leadershipagility.com or download the Leadership Leap app for tablets. Or take a look at our book, Leadership Agility, Developing Your Repertoire of Leadership Styles.